Matthew Van Dyke is an enigmatic character. He first rose to prominence during the Libya crisis when he was captured as a foreign combatant during the war there. Yet Matthew Van Dyke is not a Libyan. He's from Baltimore in the United States. His presence online causes a huge amount of debate. There is some confusion about who and what Matthew Van Dyke is. So Truth Loader caught up with Matthew Van Dyke and put a few questions to him. Here's what he had to say. I'm an American citizen. Uh, for years, I spent time in North Africa, the Middle East. I have a master's degree in Middle East Security Studies from Georgetown University. Um, I spent a few years traveling by motorcycle in the region, making a travel adventure documentary film. And I made a lot of good friends in the area. And when the Libyan revolution started, those friends started telling me about what was happening to them and their friends and their family. And I decided that I couldn't just sit at home and watch, so I went to help them. I fought in the revolution, I was captured by Gaddafi's forces. I spent nearly six months in prison, in solitary confinement. I escaped from prison and returned to the front lines and fought in the war until it was over. I engaged in a lot of fighting. Um, I had around 40 engagements with the enemy. I kept notes on each one. Um, yeah, yeah, not all those uh, involved returning fire, but quite a few did. Um, I fought as a, uh, a Dushka gunner. Dushka is a heavy machine gun in a Jeep which was driven by a, a Libyan friend of mine I've known since 2007. I did, and we did go and, and search buildings for body counts afterwards, I don't know. I don't know if I killed anyone or not. And now I'm working in Syria, uh, helping the rebels with various things, um, propaganda, filming, um, helping with a lot of uh, various, various things. I've chosen my side, I'm very clear about my side. Uh, I, I'm not objective. On well, Libya, I had good friends and they were all on the right side. So I was fighting for my friends. Um, you know, I, I think liberty is a universal concept, and that's what I'm fighting for. I, I don't, I don't see how anybody could side with an authoritarian regime. Most of my filming is autobiographical for years. The motorcycle adventure films. Uh, I filmed my life in the region for for many years, and that's also what I did in Libya. Uh, recently, I did a, a film. Um, that's a, an openly pro-revolution film. In, uh, in Syria, you know, I, what I am, I, I guess I'm an activist filmmaker. Um, you know, in my heart, I'm still a fighter. I'll probably fight in Syria in the future. Um, but I'm definitely not a journalist. It's just a label that the press created for me when I was missing in Libya. I just spent, you know, 14 to $15,000 making a Syrian film of my own money. Um, and I have very little likelihood of getting that money back and releasing the film for free. I'll try to release on networks and get a little bit of money to cover my costs. But, you know, it's, uh, I pretty much put everything into this. You know, I did a business deal in Iraq many years ago um, that gave me some money. Um, I made some money when I was in Iraq teaching English. Um, I have a small amount of money that, that was an inheritance um, that's run out now. Uh, pretty much I'm broke now. But, um, you know, every time I run out of money, something comes along and I keep yelling, but, you know, my, my finances are quite poor. Many, many years ago, about a decade ago, um, I was offered a, a conditional employment offer by the CIA back when I was in graduate school. Um, and at that time, I, I thought about it and I decided not to. I have no desire to work for any government right now. I prefer to remain independent. I have no association with Jalatul Nusra. They're not part of the FSA. They're they're independent group who's also fighting against Assad. You know, as long as they shoot in the right direction and Assad soldiers, it doesn't bother me or anybody else really right now. So there you have it. If you want to find out more about Matthew Van Dyke, he is on Facebook. You can check out his website, which we will link to in the description. And do let us know your thoughts about Matthew and this piece in a comment. We'll try to read them out on Monday's show. We'll see you again next time.